Hello guys, I am Sumed Zoshi, a research engineer at My Research Room Private Limited. We are a company that specializes in academic writing, project consultation, and product development. Today we are going to talk about the research journal indexing and some important journal and author metrics. Selecting a journal to publish your research is a daunting task. Anybody who has published a research article can relate to the previous statement. It starts with selecting the topic, performing intensive literature review, devising a methodology, and finally preparing a clean and formatted draft of the manuscript. But it doesn't end there. Publishing an article in the right research journal requires some understanding of the indexing services to ensure that the published research will get a good coverage and readership al uh, along with citations. Choosing the right journal is key. Hence today we will talk about uh, some of the top indexing services followed by some of uh, the important journal and author metrics. This will help you better understand what the metrics mean and how to use these metrics while selecting a research journal. Let's begin with a simple question. What is indexing? Citation indexing or indexing is an ordered list of cited articles, each accompanied by a list of citing articles. The citing article is defined as the source and the cited article as the reference. Today, search is done online, so it is imperative that a journal, uh, you know, is represented in the relevant online search system. A citation index is a kind of bibliographical database, an uh, index of uh, citation between publications, allowing users to, uh, you know, easily establish uh, which later documents cite which earlier documents. The prestige of any journal, uh, you know, uh, is considered by how many abstracting and indexing services cover that journal. It has been observed that in the last few years, uh, the authors have started searching for indexing journals, for indexed journals uh, to publish their articles. Having indexes allows researchers to more quickly find records for specific individuals. You know, it also represents a number referring to a list of terms, definitions, and topics arranged in an alphabetical order to efficiently guide the readers uh, to the desired information within the content. It makes the document of the interest easily accessible to the user. So what are some of the top indexing services? The list is topped undoubtedly by SCI. The Science Citation Index is a citation index originally produced by the Institute of Scientific Information ISI and created by Eugene Garfield. SCI was officially launched in 1964. It is owned by Thomas Reuters. Described as uh, the world's leading journal of science and technology, uh, you know, uh, this journal has a rigorous selection process. Most of the journals indexed uh, by SCI are in the quartile one range of the journal rankings. Then we have the SCIE or the Science Citation Index expanded. R recently, Thomas and Reuters launched the site, the SCIE, uh, which is the larger version of the SCI which covers more than 8,500 no notable and significant journals across 150 disciplines. You know, these are alternatively uh, described as the world's largest uh, journal on science and technology uh, because of a rigorous selection process. The small difference between SCI and SCIE is the storage format. The SCI and SCIE are available online, but the SCI is also available in the format of CDs and DVDs. You know, uh, and uh, these uh, are indexed by a company called Clarivate. So the next is uh, the Web of Science or the WOS. So WOS journals uh, are also uh, strict in the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, review process because they seek to publish high standard research papers. These are also indexed by Clarivate. The most known indexing uh, is the Scopus indexing. Scopus is a bibliographic database containing abstracts and citations for academic journal articles. Scopus is the largest database uh, of you know, citations and abstracts of peer-reviewed uh, articles uh, such as scientific journals, books, and conference proceedings. You know, it is available online only. The next is the ICI. So ICI is a new web platform for measuring performance of Indian research periodically. Uh, this online bibliographic database was launched in 2009. So the ICI covers 800 plus journals, uh, you know, which are published 
from India on science, uh, technical, medicine, and social science subjects. Some of the indexing services are PubMed, the DOAJ or the Directory of Open Access Journals, EBSCO, Engineering Index, and INSPEC. Now let's talk about the research journal metrics. These are important factors that researchers use to choose the best journal for their research publication. You know, they help determine uh, the prestige and reputation of a journal. Researchers can determine the reach and the readership of any journal. Uh, these metrics present past performance of journals in terms of citations and readership. Uh, researchers can uh, you know, identify predatory journals using these metrics. So these metrics are helpful in determining the best research journal for your articles based on a variety of factors. Some of the uh, you know, most important research metrics are uh, as follows. So these are the impact factor, site score, eigenfactor, SNIP, SJR, acceptance rate, article review and publication time, uh, and the author readership. Now let's delve deeper into what these metrics stand for. So the impact factor. The journal impact factor is published each year by Clarivate. It is a measure of the number of times an average paper in a particular journal is cited during the preceding two years. Uh, so for example, uh, let A stand for the number of times articles published in a specific journal in 2020 and in 2021 were cited by journals during 2022. So the total number of citable items, uh, you know, published by that journal in 2020 and 21, uh, let that be B. So the 2022 impact factor is A by B. So the actual value is intentionally dis uh, only, uh, you know, displayed for the most recent year. Earlier values are available in the journal citation reports from Clarivate. A good impact factor is, uh, you know, three and above. 10 and above impact factor journals are some of the best journals in that field. Uh, the next is the site score. So the site score measures the average citations received per document published in a title. Uh, so the site score values are based on citation counts in a range of four years to peer reviewed documents published in the same four year calendar divided by the number of these documents in the same four year period. So for example, uh, let's calculate the site score of 2022. Uh, so for, uh, for example, uh, let A be uh, the citations to articles, reviews, conference papers, and book chapters published uh, from 2019 to 2022. And let B be the sum of articles, reviews, conference papers, data papers, and book chapters published between 2019 and 2022. So the site score in 2022 will be A upon B. A site score is available uh, for most active serial titles on Scopus. A good site score is seven and above. The so next is SNP. Uh, SNP stands for Source Normalized Impact Per Paper. Uh, you know, it measures a contextual citation impact by weighing citations based on total number of citations in a subject field. This unique perspective enables direct comparison of sources uh, in different subject fields. An impact of a single citation is given higher value in subject areas where citations are less likely and vice versa. A good SNP score is above 1. Uh, the next is the SCI MAGO Journal Rank or SCI MAGO Journal Rank SJR. This is a measure of number of times an average paper in a particular journal is cited and as such is conceptually similar to the impact factor. The major difference is that instead of uh, you know, each citation being uh, counted as one, as with the impact factor, the Simago journal rank assigns each citation a value greater or less than one based on the rank of the citing journal. The weighing is calculated using uh, a three-year window of measurement and you know, it uses the Scopus database. Authors can use uh, these metrics uh, you know, when deciding where to publish. A good SGR score is above 1. The next is the acceptance rate, uh, which is the percentage of all articles submitted uh, to any journal in a calendar year that was accepted uh, for publication in the same year. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, this gives a good indication of the size of the journal. And the articles that were withdrawn are not included in this data. The article review and publication time. 
the time that the editorial board uh, takes to review and publish articles. Uh, the next is, uh, and finally, the author readership. This is the demographics of authors viewing or citing a research article from a journal. This might include the author's country of origin or, uh, you know, uh, his uh, field of study and etc. Uh, the next part is individual author metrics. Uh, so the individual author metrics are effective in determining the research performance of an author. You know, these metrics help determine the scholarly output of a researcher and they also, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, can be used to track the citation influence of an author. Some important metrics are H index and the citation tracker. So the H index. The H index is a, a number intended to represent both the productivity and the impact of a particular scientist or scholar or a group of scientists. The H index is calculated by counting the number of publications uh, for which the author has been cited by other author at least the same number of times. For instance, an H index of 21 means that the scientist has published at least 21 papers that have each been cited at least 21 times. If the scientist's 22nd uh, most cited publication was cited only 10 times, the H index would remain at 21. If the scientist's 22nd most uh, cited publication was cited 22 or more times, the H index would be 22. Next is the citation tracker. It is an adjustable uh, date range table that includes the number of times each document has been cited per publication year. I'm sure everything discussed up till now will make you an informed researcher. I hope this video helps you in deciding the right journal for your research article. Uh, we will see you in the next video with a different topic. Thank you guys.